Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to roll and transfer pie dough into your pie dish. Now I mentioned in our first video on how to make the perfect pie dough that I used to struggle so much with making pie at home and it just like would take hours to get that pie dough into the pie dish. I think one of the areas that we always went wrong was not using the right recipe. So as mentioned, we, we have an all butter recipe. I'll link it down below for you. But growing up, I would use a lard or shortening based recipe and maybe that's where I went wrong altogether because it was just crumbly and finicky. Anyways, I hope that you learned something from this technique that I'm gonna show you. We'll get into it right now. So to get started, all you're gonna need is a small bowl of flour, your pie dough, you're gonna need a rolling pin and of course a pie plate. I'm using the Pyrex nine and a half inch glass pie plate. And I made this pie dough last night and it's just been in the fridge. I have since let it come to room temperature for about 30 minutes to an hour just so that it's soft enough for me to roll out but also just making sure that the butter is still cold First thing I wanna mention is when you're rolling out pie dough, you'll wanna make sure that your room is not too hot and that the surface that you're rolling it on is also somewhat cool. This is perfect, it's a stone surface that'll keep the pie nice and cool so that your butter doesn't start to melt. Okay, so taking my flour here, I'm just going to use my hands and scatter a generous portion of flour on my surface. And this just prevents my dough from sticking. Starting with my pie disc, I have floured it and I'm about to flour my rolling pin as well. And I'm just going to lightly roll it out in every direction so that it kind of keeps an even circle as much as possible. I'll also really want to pay attention to whether or not it feels like it's sticking to anything. As soon as it starts to feel like it's sticking to the surface of the rolling pin or the surface of the counter, that's when I know I need to adjust and add more flour. I just continuously flip it, roll it around, throw some more flour underneath the dough so that there's no chance that it's sticking to the surface. And I kind of keep rolling a few times, turning and rolling a few times until it's large enough to fit the pie plate. As it gets thinner, you do need to be somewhat gentle with it, but again, as long as you find that it's still able to move around freely without it sticking to anything, you're pretty good. And this is starting to get to be the right size, I think, for my pie plate. I'm just going to take my pie plate and put it over top and kind of see where I think it might need to be a little bit bigger. There are some cracks here on the side. It's not a perfect round circle, but we can kind of mend that as well as we go. So usually when I'm making pie dough, I eyeball it, but I actually am gonna measure it for you guys just to see where we're at. And it looks like we're bang on with an eighth of an inch there. Okay, so now this pie dough is big enough to go into my pie plate here. I'm just gonna really gently roll the pie dough onto the rolling pin. If you do get a couple of cracks that start to happen, don't worry about it. We can fix that once it's in the pie dish. And I'm just gonna really carefully roll it over top. Now I'm kind of just lifting up the edge and making sure that it's sitting nicely inside of the pie plate. And I am not going to do a top on this pie because it's gonna be used for my favorite pumpkin pie recipe, but I will show you how I do the crust here. So I have all this excess on the outside of my dish. So this is a section where there's a little bit too much dough. I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors, knife, or this uh, bench scraper and cut off some dough. So I'm taking the overhang here folding it underneath the dough onto the edge of the pie dish. And now I can start my crimping and pushing it together with my index fingers and my thumbs forming a V. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna clean up the surface a little bit. Bench scrapers are such awesome tools. It makes cleaning up dough off of your surface just so much easier. So I highly recommend that and we will link all the tools, including the scraper, in the description box down below for you. Okay. And yeah, we're a little messy. I never said making pie dough was a clean process. <laughs> so there you have it, our pie crust in our pie dish without 
too much fuss. Don't get too caught up in making it absolutely perfect because it's just one of those things that's meant to be rustic. Be easy on yourself and it's really all about how it tastes anyways, right? If you're not wanting to use your pie and bake it right away, just wrap it up really well with some plastic wrap and store it in the freezer for up to three months. I hope you guys found this video helpful for your next pie endeavor. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.